I'm about to show you the defense that I think you need to be running in Madden 23. And I think if we're all honest, it's the best defense by far, as long as we can figure out one key thing, actually two key things. Really, the first key thing is how do we make sure that they can't pick up the blitz? And the second key thing is how do we make sure the coverage actually stops some of the most popular routes? And it doesn't have to actually stop the most popular routes for a long time. It just has to stop the routes for a split second. And I'm going to show you to do that in this video. Now, we're going to be talking today about the 3-3 defense out of the nickel 3-3 formation. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this, uh, including my favorite defenses for the most popular formations in the game, Make sure to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. Gets you access to all of our ebooks and our updates. Now, guys, if we're honest, I think that you know any competitive player would probably agree with me. This is the best blitz in Madden 23. By far, it's the best blitz in Madden 23. The real question is: can you set it up? Can it adjust well formation to formation? Can you structure abilities around it? Can you stop the run out of it? Those are all questions. Um, but here's the biggest key and secret to this defense. What you want to do is you want to come out in this LB blitz zero. All right. Um, then the next step though, as soon as we get on, as soon as we get out here, and the first step that I like to take is we're going to learn from young Kiv on this one. He did this to Clef and it just absolutely destroyed Clef in my opinion. What we're going to do is we're just going to back off individually these outside corners. Now, the reason for this is because the primary vehicle for picking this blitz up is to ID an outside corner. But if, as you can see, if I if those corners aren't pressed, I can't ID them. Now, if I was to undo that, you'll notice here, I can ID the corner. So basically, we're playing a game with adjustments. And essentially, all you have to do to make this blitz literally unblockable is just back off your outside corners. And guess what? I actually think that makes man coverage play better. And so what you're going to see is this blitz is going to absolutely scream at the opponent. I'll show it to you again. And this is really powerful because now it's literally almost impossible to block this blitz. You just back up these outside corners. I like to spread my line, crash my line down, and then I'm going to QB contain once I slide those linebackers out. And as you'll see, we're going to be able to get some double loops. And of course, as I start to brag about how good this blitz is, for whatever reason in practice mode, it's not coming in. So we'll try it again. So again, just walk these guys out. You, I like. I actually think baseline is low key, really good. If you come out in baseline, set up the blitz, and then just unbase a line, I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, but anyway, there you see the double loop. That's the concept that is so powerful, so powerful. Um, again, I'll show it to you one more time. Just spread your D line, move these guys outside. You'll see here when I move these guys outside and I contain the linebackers are now on the contain. And then really quickly go ahead and back those guys off. I would actually do that first. And you'll see here the loop should come uh, completely free. Now, you don't have to actually always slide these guys out. One of the little quick pro tip is you'll see here that um, you can you can kind of leave these guys in from time to time. There, there's different alignments, uh, different formations kind of align a little differently. Uh, so you see there, see how fast that blitz comes in off the edge. So the beauty of this is it's really good for also like when they block people. So let's say that your opponent is trying to block, you know, the running back or whatever. This blitz a lot of times will come in free even against a blocked running back. As you see right there, that's a great example. Um, now this blitz is also so fluky that there's almost no pass protection outside of ID in the corner that's consistent. So again, you see here, I mean, they blocked six. We're sitting five and we're getting a plus one. Now the last step of this really is a shade technique. What I like to do is shade my coverage outside. Why do I like to do that? Because it funnels everything back to the middle of the field, uh, which is where my user is. So you see here, I'm just gonna lurk the crosser, cut the crosser. We're basically playing cover one rat coverage. I'm the rat in the hole, trying to rob the crossers over the middle of the field. And just take the first one, take the first crosser because that is gonna be the one that's gonna get open the quickest. But that's how you run the blitz. I think, I think honestly, like with where we're at until they patch this blitz, this is the best blitz in the game. Like that you might make, you can make an argument that the coverage is in from this, or you can make an argument that the run defense is in. It's the best blitz in the game by far. And when you can, when you can have the best blitz in the game, you can figure out the other stuff. So um, try this defense out, nickel three, three, double loop. Link is in the description if you want to get the entire defensive ebook. 
Um, and it also includes all of our ebooks. Uh, Patreon gets you access to everything. We've got over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video and have a good night, guys. We'll see you in the next one tomorrow.